Good morning to everyone who are present here. Success is not the key to happiness. Happiness is the key to success. If you love what you are doing, you will be successful. This is Ashita M from Final Year MCOM. Extend a warm welcome to everyone towards Industry 2 Institute interactive program on trade channel management and loyalty solutions. Now I would like to call our uh, HOD Mrs. Lavanya Balaji to welcome the gathering. Good morning to one and all present here. So today we are here on the third edition of in the Institute Industry to Institute Interactive Program. So I welcome you all here. I welcome our guest, uh, Ms. Sharwani Sachidanan, Director and Co-Founder, Electors Loyalty Solution. I welcome Dr. Vinaya, Event Coordinator. I welcome Dr. Lalita, Teaching Fraternity from PG Department of Commerce. I welcome the organizing team and I welcome all the students of MCOM who are present here. So welcome you all once again and just enjoy the session. In absence, I welcome our below principal, uh, Dr. S. Anil Kumar. Now I call upon uh, Ms. Yemalata from final year MCOM to introduce our in, uh, resource person, Ms. Sharwani uh, Sachidanat. Sharwani Sachidanat, an entrepreneur and alumnus of Indo German Chamber of Commerce. Sharwani has straddled roles across industries with the likes of Robert Bosch, Fernand Richard, Wipro Peripherals, Allergen Healthcare, and Atto before co founding Anecdos nine years ago. Her exposure in product management marketing and revenue management gives an edge par comparison as an entrepreneurship who has seen the other side of table equips has a visibility and understanding of client expectations and gives her an edge of understanding consumer and channel behavior anecdotes the firm co-founded by Ms. Sharwani specialized in delivery, delivering and managing trade channels, loyalty programs with an objective of enhancing relationships and market share delivery for their clients. A seasoned leader with a track record of conceptualizing, implementing and managing innovative business solutions, drive profit and growth through business process improvements, milestones and goal achievements and increasing productivity. We welcome you, ma'am. <laughs> Just to 
one is inseparable from the other. And one department cannot function without the other department, so the words can be lost of the things. It's fundamental. Right? So if you get into a core accounting in a go back to this. Don't think that. That's why I have more comfortable going to my own question. Okay. Right? So I'm here. I run an organization today, which is 10 years old in December. We have been focusing on something called loyalty marketing, right? What do what does loyalty marketing mean to you guys? Come on, man. English is comfortable, right? It's very good. Well done, you can touch it. Okay. What is loyalty? In the business sense, what does loyalty mean? She would like a brand loyalty means I like a brand because of X, Y, Z, other than that. Okay, it's for brand, but for business, what does that mean? Is it unconditional? In business, is it unconditional? Uh, your name is? Yeah, Sandhya says she's loyal to Bata. Is it unconditional? If tomorrow Bata says, I will not make good shoes, I will not do proper material, will she be continue to use Bata? Because it's Bata? It's not unconditional, right? It's not unconditional. She will be loyal to Bata if Bata is this, 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 and this, correct? Right? So loyalty is actually not, other than the human loyalty that we talk about, in business, loyalty is not unconditional, right? Next question. Right? Then next is, is it complete? It's hung. The other part of it is, is your do you think loyalty is all transaction? For example, Sandhya goes to a store tomorrow and there is some other coming on this because it's the same thing. So next door there is a letter of shoes. And after that there is some XYZ shoes. And he's giving almost 80% of it. So if you go and buy months, it was 80% of it. But the shoes quality is not as great as Bata. So, because it is cheap, it is going to Right? So, it is not always transaction. It is not always about money. Right? It's always. So, what is going to be Yes. Right? I wish I had a presentation with another two minutes here. So, it's not, it's not transaction, and you can't purchase money. One city buys city, if I go and get loyalty from the city, then in business, you can't really buy loyalty. So, what is loyalty then? Yeah. Loyalty in the business sense, there are three kinds of loyalty. Right? One is trade loyalty, one is consumer loyalty, and the third is employer loyalty. Some of them for us. Trade is what I will talk about. Sir, okay. It's payable. 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 It's
How is it rewarded? By the offer that is not given. What is that? So, what is that? So, what are the brands you offer? If uh, you have seen credit cards and somebody uh, put it there, it is there. All of them say, You want to use my card, you use my receipt, I will give you reward points. Big Bazaar will be basically the shutdown of course, they do. Big Bazaar is the regular point, 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 future points are there. So that is consumer. What are banks trying to do? They're trying to keep you coming back, you know, buy from them. And they say, Every time you come and buy, I will make sure that you get rewarded for coming in. Okay, so that is consumer world. Today, example is credit card, all your uh, hypermarket stores, you, you as a consumer, you as a user are needed to buy. Right? What is employee that is employee? You are all of you going to become employees. Who is employee? Huh? Extra benefits. Huh? What extra benefits are you expecting from the employee that you know? Employee loyalty. You are you will be loyal to an employer. That's because you have got a job, you have got a job, you are getting a salary. That's a good thing. You are being but sometimes if you especially talk to uh, I, I deal with uh, Googlers regularly. Uh, Google is one of my clients, right? So I deal with Googlers regularly. So when you talk to a Googler, they all are paid handsomely, but salary is one of the fourth or fifth considerations because Google pays well, right? But why are they so loyal to Google? What environment that they provide? What else? So they pay government bills. These are all over and above your salary. What was it again? What you get as a part of your salary. This is beyond them, right? They get merchandise every month, which is they will be having sweatshirts, cookies, cats, water bottles, uh, trips, things like that. Again, is a part, some part of the salary, right? But everything, everything that goes beyond salary, right? There are a lot of things that employers do. They give you awards and rewards for performance. Start performer of the month, employee of the month. You heard about that, Sriti? Sriti gives you regularly, employee of the month. So, my dog is employee of the month. In fact, she's born with that size, they also popularize that. Right? Employee of the month, etc. Those are things that they do to build recognition, reward. Right? All of these things are done for an employee to build loyalty in an organization. Everything is a salary. Right? Nobody works for free today, no? Do not work for free, you know, you earn salary. Salary is a good But how do you make sure that somebody sticks to your organization, right? How do you make sure that somebody is loyal to your organization? So there's an entire loyalty program that we built for companies when it comes to employee. It is called employee engagement, employee rewards and recognition. Tomorrow when you all become employees, that's the first thing that your HR department will talk to you about. Let's say we have a rewards and recognition program. Then you will be rewarded regularly. Right? So all of these things. You work for eight months, no? You work for eight months? You work for eight months. So you have an RNR program in the company? You want the recognition? You didn't have one. In your company? They have. So these are all programs that they build. And what I'll be specifically talking to you guys in the next remaining session is what I call trade bond. So what is trade bond? What is trade bond? Thank you. <laughs> What is trade bargaining? Or if you are going to go into companies which are going to be doing this kind of work for them. Very, very important. What kind of company do you think you're going to be? Product company, service company. Second years, you're going to pass out no? The next seven eight months. What do you want? What kind of company do you want? They want to get into an audit. Hardcore financial auditing company. 
of companies is that your finance and accounting department is a company which has a larger spectrum. Then you get an exposure to industry, you get an exposure to you're going to see a company, you know, you've got a target. But not so much exposure. But anyway, you, you should also try getting into a shortcut for this company because finance department is there, accounting department is there, audit department is there, and so on. Right? So, trade, what is, I'm talking about trade now, right? How many of you understand this? What is this? Become your study. I have studied this one hundred percent of study. What is this? Supply of products. Supply of products. Supply of products. Manufacturer of the product. Very good. Manufacturer of the product. So what? What happens? In this? One channel, two channel. Define one channel, two channel. Uh, manufacturer to the consumer. How? Right? Uh, today is cabinet is coming and giving you chocolate. Uh, right? I think you're all right. Uh, 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 manufacturer to the consumer. How many layers do you think of average chocolate travels to get to you? They will have a state distributor. Every state. Then they will have super stockists. Then they will have stockists. Then they will have uh, large retailers. Then they will have all your taka pieces and all of those people. Right? So minimum of five layers or something. And this is in Bangalore. This is in Bangalore. Okay, you go to any remote Taluka distributor or district level, it will have gone to another place. You go by a lot of Taluka district level. You go to uh, Yelanka, Ishampur, and all of those places. No, then you go to another place. They will all come to the APMC yard and then buy from there and then send it in a small office. Right? So, why is India for me? This was an area of passion. That is why I started a company which focuses on distribution. Why do you think distribution is important in a country like India? You all can't go to India now. Right now. And anything and everything you do, you have to, if not in the company, definitely it's in a company. If not in the company, in your day to day life, will be in fact with the business. Right? Why do you think it's important to do that? Because of the cost. People will not be interested in the family, not population, and all that. Otherwise, India is a large country. How many of you have traveled outside of Karnataka? You have traveled outside of Karnataka? Yes, sir. 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 Very well. Then, right? Very well. 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 Very and it is very easy. To get Unibase districts in Karnataka, you get it in Karnataka because the distribution centers in Karnataka. You get if you go to the east or northeast, you get something called this farm. So you get a district called this farm. There. Do not get it. Some very few companies would have been able to do pan India. 
Amazon, all of them started shop in India in some way or the other. Right? Then rice became a challenge. Uh, how many of you remember Sammy? Right. Were, there were one of the few people who came and said 70 percent of the food was holding the crowd, which is 70 percent of So, what happens to the distribution pandemic? First of all, one step back when it is going through so many layers, what happens to the press? Increase the cost. And when you have a switch in your bed, so you share in your house or a light bulb, yeah. how many of you bought a light bulb? Other than the Chinese, the new bumper light bulb, which is stopped. How much do you think that it is? One hundred percent. Just by more, but I more for the plants. Geo. Don't come into the different volume of the rest of the product. The product. Okay. So, what challenges happened in e commerce? All of the things e commerce is contributing to so many. E commerce is not contributing so many to the economy. What they brought about is it's been a huge pressure on the price. All of us started realizing that we were all buying in an MRP and women. Suddenly, we started realizing this is a lot of cushion. Right? So, when that cushion, where is that cushion coming from? Here, 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 here. So, everybody arguing this is not without being market, not being charity, you know. I put my market in under itself. No? Right now, I have my expenses, I have to cover my expenses on top of that, I have to make my margin. So I do all that and answer me because that margin came under pressure. Right? So now ITC is very worried about this Kirana shop also. ITC wants to know where is it selling because it's a new concept that is coming up, which is called direct to pay. D to C. Yes. So we are not DTC brands, all the aware of them. If you read current affairs, you see a lot of conversation happening about D2C, mm -hmm. direct to consumer. It's a huge business. Your men's card is talking about it. Or after Shark Tank, everybody wants it. <laughs> so everybody is talking about it. D2C brand, D2C brand, X, right? So D2C, they're all saying, it is cut off to the green line. It is cut off to the green line. I think that's why it's also Correct. But the challenge is, in a country like India, you will never be able to cut off to the green you think you will reach all of us if one brand tries to reach? Why do you think brands don't directly feed into your need? Or again, I'm very interested to talk to the brands. One of the few clients that I get to challenge with these clients. Why do you think a brand doesn't want to know? At least any one of my talk is up now. I will have a tendency to keep talking. You let me know when I have to stop. Or you better be at home and time. Tell me, why do you think? Brand can't talk to you very much. It's so cute, right? Yes, please. 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 Yes, Oh, will you get one to every Kirana shop and say, I'll give you one kg of chocolate chip, please give me money? So, why do you think you need minimum in India? There are two key roles that a distributor of a stock is in India. One is finance, another is stock. Two big parts of your cash. It is a key role of providing every company that we distribute is called that support it gets remunerated for it. Because tomorrow a Tata Motors cannot come and sell a car directly to you. It needs dealers. It needs some dealer in say 
uh, one Tripurna uh, Halli to put those four cards on this tray so that when somebody comes in, he is inventorizing. He's bought those four cards. In Tata Motor's book, it's the same over. In his books, it is still inventory. Right? So very important that that's why in India, distribution is always, always going to play a very, very key role. The distributor's role might change. So today, with a lot of new things happening in the market today, distributor's role is changing. Papa today, a distributor was not only doing finance, was not only doing stocking, he does servicing. Right? Some children in some village they have bought a washing machine. Get to it, full going service. So, uh, Samsung will send somebody there? No, no. No, no. We are distributed to Samsung who are also on a service team, who will send this person. Right? So, all of these things are distributed to stay in care of. So, this will not, the world will change. You will probably have supply chains changing, you will probably have uh, a lot of. Uh, Innovations coming in terms of payment cycles and all of those things, but this world will not change, right? So, again, going back to, I already said, distribution is the backbone of the Indian economy today. The Indian economy runs on the distribution networks. It might be in services, it might be in products, it might be industrial products, it might be on agriculture. At the end of the day, a farmer, all your reliance question will say direct. From farmer, what are they trying to do? They're saying I'm eliminating middlemen. That's where the farm laws and all that happen, no other education happened. They're saying no, no, we sell directly to the corporates. All the middlemen are the people who bring it up. You go to the Ashokur Mandi or you go to Kyar Market in the morning, all of these small small guys will go and pick up from there and come and sell you also. That is the main hub of distribution, right? So it is a very, very key part of what the economy runs on. It is how much incentive? So we talked about margin. Right? What is sales incentive? What is trade incentive? Commission in a way, yes. Trade discount comes as a part of but you buy one ton and it will give you 2% off. That is the trade. Yeah. Trade incentives in the name of things that you feel is a point to see that you have to understand. Trade facilities is all a part of your policy with your partner. The Lord decided right to do it. I will give you pay back in 5 days, I will give you 2% cash discount. To pay back in 15 days, I will give you 1.25% cash discount. Pay back after 30 days, I will give you, uh, I will, on 30 day, I will give you 1%, after 30 days, I will take 1%. So that's how the industry does, right? So trade discount, cash discount, and all of those things are different. This is an incentive. Exactly. They give targets across the channel partners. They give targets and they say, if you achieve these targets, I will give you extra incentive. Incentive may be in the form of cash. They buy and sell cages of gold every year because Zwari Cement, who is a friend of ours, gives gold coins to all the masons and all the cement dealers when they achieve their targets. This is a part of very right? And 3 to 15 percent of the top line is given out as trade incentive. So, a company with 10,000 crores stock line, 3% also is like that. Incentive to be earned by the partners. That is the kind of money. Just in the building and infrastructure segment, your top crores, cement, is key Firewood, polycarb, phenolic soup, all of them now. 50,000 crore annually. Foreign bills. Now, foreign bills are the post COVID one. It's all back to gold, silver. 
washing machine, car. We just for a cement company just last month we gave away close to two crores worth of things. Tata new car is coming, so new car is coming, electrical car. We gave away those cars, all cement dealers for those cars. Why? Because they were found in which? Within four years? One quarter. One quarter they were found and they were. I'm not a business. But I don't know it. I didn't give away a lot of gifts. They sat the class every year. So. so we already touched upon that. This is some big facts for you people. General trade is estimated to be 14 million outlets in India. Is that 14 million? One million is 14 So you think that this thing is not going to go and sell? Or will go and collect? Wow, I have to buy. Office for that one. I have to buy all kinds of things. So, middlemen cannot be eliminated, right? Then we are talking about not counting the B2B and influencers. I am not going to touch the phone influencers. I think I have to come back for another session. For influencers? Social media. Ilama. That is what I am saying. For influencers. Not social media. Not.
and painters, the rich and women painters, some of the most unknown, they all paint the learning of programming in Tamil Nadu. They have earmarked 400 women, they're teaching them the entire nuances of how a big focus is done, and they're training them to become painters. Do you think they'll be called to the so that is that is a large part of what my company does. Right? My company, we take these budgets. I think this is actually 15% of the budget. So the company that I signed up for today, as single business manager, we take these budgets from the customer, right? So who's my client? The brand is in there. Yeah, it's Marco, expert is in there. They give me this budget. Right? Once they give this budget, you tell them part of it has to go as money because everybody works for money. Right? And one part of it, we do this kind of work. We do training sessions. For example, a contractor, building contractor, will have so many employees. Right? He'll also have an accountant. He'll also have a salesperson. So we'll say we will train all of us. The company will take the money. We will make sure that they get trained. Sometimes or in a we get them training from planning. We get them training on sales communication and all of those things. So the money which can go as incentive as cash. Cash will be not okay, it will go somewhere. Then it, as a business person, it will work at the expense of it. Whereas if you give these kind of trainings, it will already be it. He remembers the brand a lot more. We've had I've had calls when we were doing it for a chocolate brand. How many of you have heard of Relaxo? You've heard of Relaxo, no? Akshay Kumar is the brand ambassador. Right? So these are a lot of things that we do. Right? We do today we become a lot of yarn if I tell you what is all of this, but this is the core of distribution, channel management, sales visibility. We talked about right Kirana shop, how IPC will come to us because of all these programs that we do as we use technology very, very uh, effectively. We collect this data and we have this data. That where in this Kirana shop in Jainagar, this product is being sold. IDC may not know it, but I think IDC will come to know it through us. Because we run promotions so that we collect this information. How? We will run a promotion for this person saying if you do so much of IDC brand products, you will get one by three. Mm -hmm. Right? That will be done through us. So we will have a sales data. And IDC will get that from us. Right? So that is what we do. One, this part I will take you through and then continue my session. The four of the logic part that we do, especially for pay. Like I told you, we do four different pillars. Any activity that we do for a company, we focus it on four things. One is family. All of us at the end of the day are human beings. We work with all companies. We work with an electricity company, I work with a cement company, I work with a steel company, I work with an electrical company. We are completely in all different industries. But what runs the same? Human beings, which comes back home. Right? So we do everything related to farmers. That's the promotion part, incentive part, everything is kept aside. On the other side of it, we give scholarships for children. We make sure that they are trained, they are vocationally they have to be trained, they give them vocational, they organize vocational training. If they have to be given uh, some kind of design, for example, they have to see design a earth-related uh, environment in media, painting contest for all the children of civil engineers, fabricators, the guy who comes and does your carpentry and all of those things, and also the dealers. You know, all the children participate. Children participate. They send their uh, what we call uh, paintings online to WhatsApp to us. You can't disappoint children. So every child who participated got a new sample from the institution. Say thank you for participating. We got a very good response. After that, what did we do? We got the 12 best uh, paintings selected. And we made it into a calendar. And we made around 15,000 pieces of the calendar and sent it across all the dealer partners of the register. So it had the name of the child, the name of the dealership, and the painting, and it was there for the first year. Do you know the kind of bond we will build with the brand that we do stuff like this? And we ran a cooking contest for all the all of them. It can be spouse, it can be sister, it can be anybody who can participate. The theme was health and nutrition. So they had to just send us videos. Everybody makes TikTok videos today. Making a video is not a big thing. 
Okay, so they all make these videos and send us. Bond that reach the brand. Other than going and saying, hey, buy my product and give me a better price, it's a way saying, I'm doing this for you. Right? So we build loyalty on those models. We do stuff with family, we do training for children, we do training for staff. Because at the end of the day, to grow his business, your business also grows. And then we do a lot of health. We gave the pre COVID, we did a lot of health checkups. During COVID, we just are all known electricians, painters, stuff makers, any other Right? So the companies that I work with just transfer money with their accounts to the account. For Shadow Electric, we did it for four of these transfers. Across close to 10,000 locations. We just put money in the bank accounts. Why? Because during that time we didn't have work. So the company said these are all people who have worked with my brand directly or indirectly. Let us take care of them. Right? So these are the kind of initiatives that brands do, which are beyond sales, beyond transactions. And we handle a lot of those things. Yeah, this is us. You can look us up by Connecto. World.com, A-N-N-E-C-T-O-S, world.com. And for us, building loyalty is not just a responsibility of sales and marketing teams. All of you people are going into finance and accounting departments. Trust you me, some of you will start out young and get grow up the ladder. You will, if you're joining a product company which will have a distribution channel, you will be having arguments with your sales teams. You know, speak here in Matilda, settle Matilda came home. They were all coming in. That's the one. Please understand, I worked very hard in the corporate life. I used to make sure that my relationship with the finance team was the best. Because if they clear your vendor payments on time and they clear your charter payments on time, then work happens not more smoothly. And that has to be, relationship has to be maintained. So, building loyalty. And why is it important? Because in a lot of these cases, margin is under competition. Right? Today, you have all come to know, you go and check on Amazon, you go Google and you find out what is the MRP, market operating price. MRP is non-existent in uh, mobile phone. How many of you bought a mobile phone on uh, MRP? You go and check on Flipkart, Inpriso, Amazon, Inpriso, and you go negotiate with the market price. So margin is under tremendous pressure. So what they earn is 3 to 15 percent is the actual money that they make. Right? So though e-commerce has not made such a huge impact in terms of offline, it has brought a lot of pressure on the bottom line. Right? So what we do sometimes, especially as finance folks, we be a little more advocate. I've had a case in the case of Vilaxo book where he, his daughter's wedding was there. So his daughter's wedding over an XYZ day, and we had planned to deliver his washing machine probably another three thirty days later. So he called her up and said, Yeah, he was a guy from the town. So in that doing weddings with people all the stuff. So he said, I have to give these things, so you please have it delivered when got it delivered. It was his own. He might think he had earned that washing machine. But he requested it and he said it took three days earlier. He said it was three days earlier. The kind of Emotional connect that we did with the client. Who are twin? We are moving. And it was just a little person. But twin, we are relaxing. We are the company doing it on behalf of relaxer, we are representing the brand. Right? He was so elated that relaxer took that extra, you know, step to make sure that his daughter's wedding that this came to life. Right? So we do a lot of so the emotional part of the whole trade business is what we have. And money is our large. Fifty thousand people in India. I've not seen that many zeros if I put also I sometimes these are a few of our clients. Right? We work with Jesta Boon, Schneider, Mahindra, you heard of all these names, I hope. Yes. Target, Nerolac Paints, Relaxo, Ford, Bosch, Lapunt. We work with Zolo and Lava, they don't exist anymore. Now, this, this is a little old. We now have Marco, we have Mahindra uh, Seeds Division. So, I have to update this site. Again, they will come back. 
That's it. Any questions? No? Now I call upon uh, Dr. Lalita B.S. to give the closing remarks of this session. So in the session, she started with the introduction of uh, very few jobs actually between data training and supply chain management. She says upon how finance and accounts is the core of any business. 
and loyalty and recognition programs are there in the companies. This is the bank fair distribution and how distribution is important in a country like India. So the market has moved from the 1990s and distribution is considered as the backbone of business. She gave various examples of how companies have been conducting training sessions for the workers and this incentivizes the brand. So they will be the influencers of that particular brand and there are various clients which has actually dealt with. So this was definitely a very useful session for the students. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. No event is complete without vote of thanks. Now I'll call upon Bhavana from first year MCOM to give the vote of thanks. For giving us a dignity session about great channel management and loyalty solutions and giving the in-depth knowledge about loyalty, distribution, and money more. I would like I would also like to thank Mrs. Shiver for joining with us. And I would also express my gratitude to our Dr. Principal, Dr. S. Anil Kumar sir, and our HOD Professor Davanya Balaji, and our event coordinator, Dr. Vinayati, and Dr. Dalita Bhiyas for our constant support. Last but not the least, I would like to thank all the family of first year students for active participation in this group. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, Thank you. 